Let me stay here to bright the side. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a new video. If you are new here, my name is Zizi, and on this channel we do lifestyle content mainly in the form of vlogs. Hi, but if we cap here, Yes, okay. On this channel we do lifestyle content mainly in the form of vlogs. And today I'm starting a brand new vlog. It's a weekend vlog. It's actually quite late in the afternoon um, because earlier on today I was finishing off another vlog. <laughs> so it was getting too long. So I thought, let me just start a fresh one. Um, the Hubs and I are about to go to Hershey's. It's like that appliance store, that like ginormous appliance store. We're going to go and look for a fridge, um, a like really big vacuum cleaner a dishwashing machine washing machine dryer and a microwave basically all the kitchen appliances and uh and a dry and a vacuum cleaner um yeah our priority though is a dishwasher because i think that that's the most important thing so that we can free ourselves the both of us and our helper from the shackles of washing dishes so we're gonna probably prioritize that and a microwave our microwave is quite old we've had it for like probably five years now um and it's actually even starting to rust so we need a microwave and it's kind of small it annoys my husband a little bit so we need a bigger one the washer and dryer is not that much of a priority because it doesn't rain that much in Joburg, especially like this time of the year so our laundry dries outside to be quite honest um and a fridge we have a fridge but in our new house that we're gonna move into this fridge is not gonna work because like our fridge is a single door fridge got this like back in 2017 when, when i had just started working this is not gonna work we need like a double door fridge and i'm hoping for like you see those french door double door fridges and it, it you guys will see class figure let's go let's go let's <laughs> go Are you done talking to yourself? <laughs> you hate me. <laughs> Let's go. Did you make our reservation for date night tonight? Please, the Gwen's woman, okay? I inspire your outfits. You smell nice because of me. You inspire which outfits? The one you're wearing. You saw my outfit come by right now. Your lips are so dry. They are, and they're like. This morning, I'm so clear, a lot as any. 
to see the horizon and the far Excuses were too for a penny But they've all gone out the window of this car And when I feel the wind on my We got back from Hushin was like maybe 30 minutes ago and after coming back from Hushin's we also went to grab some coffee <laughs> it's like half past five now we grab some coffee but it was decaf okay I have a bit of an addiction to <laughs> iced coffee if it's not already obvious but we grabbed some coffee and now we're getting ready to go out for date night <laughs> We're going out for date nights. My husband wants us to try this restaurant it's called Signature, I think it's called, and it's in Morningside. Um, I don't think I've been there before. In fact, I don't even know what it like looks like. But guys, debrief on our visit to Hershey's. Guys and guys shot in Gingan. shot in Gingan. Guys, how is a fridge? Fifty thousand rand. Like Jiny. You know, and when I walked in there I thought to myself, okay, thirty thousand Rand should be pretty like sufficient for like a double door fridge. But like the size of the double door fridge that we need to fill the space in our kitchen I band. I band. And mind you guys, like those are not even the expensive ones. Like there's ones that are like a hundred grand. Who the hell is buying a fridge for 100 grand? So I was so discouraged and I thought to myself, you know what, I need to go back to the drawing board. I need to go back to the drawing board because what must happen? You know, but I spoke to my husband and he was saying, Okubam, you know what, ne? even if we're spending 50,000 on a fridge, one, we can take however much time we need to save for it because we're not under pressure to buy it on anybody's timeline, firstly. So we'll save for it. And we're not going to buy it on credit because we don't buy furniture and appliances on credit in this house. We're not gonna buy it on credit, we're going to buy it cash, if we buy it. And we're gonna save the money. Whether it takes us one month or it takes us a year. You know, it's not like us my fridge on walk. We're gonna save for it. And also, like, if fridge is not, he was also saying, but if fridge is not something you buy every five years, especially like if you if you if you're in like a home, like a house, if fridge is not something you're buying every three to five years. I mean, the fridge I currently have, for example, I bought it when I just started working, and it was all I could afford. I think it was like five thousand rand. It was all that I could afford back then, and. It's lasted me five years. I mean, it's kind of at the end of its useful life now, if we're being pretty honest. But it's lasted me these five years, and um, it's been working fine, you know. So if we're buying like top of the range fridges, we expect them to last us like fifteen years, fifteen maybe twenty. And if you're spending fifty thousand rand once in fifteen years or once in twenty years, like that's okay. And we just spent all the time that we had there at um, what's this place at Hershey's on a fridge. So we didn't even properly get to look at other appliances that we were there to look at. We looked at like two dishwashers, but not in a lot of detail because also maybe Viola. So you know we didn't want to keep Abanda from Chais. But yeah, um, I 
lot of people after you know i kind of announced a few of your vlogs back or a few videos back that we've purchased our house a lot of people are like oh i can't wait for the home content and whatnot you know what let me just be open and honest with you guys up front there will be no home content like i mean there will be but not at the rate that you were expecting we have other like priorities at the moment and i've decided that i'm not going to furnish the house before we renovate i actually very strongly want to do the renovations first but obviously like we're saving up for them because even that we have to do with cash we can't do credits so i'm first going to do the renovations and then once i'm happy with the renovations that we want to do then i'll start furnishing but even before renovations guys we first have to spend time saving because the cost of buying a house is it's no it's no child's play you know um yeah so i just wanted to clear the air there um i know that my audience is a bunch of very kind considerate women who well and guys too but mainly women like 95 percent women who are like considerate and understanding and know that like was in up you know and so i know that i'm not going to be put under pressure by you guys um to furnish the house at a particular rate um and i'm just going to finish my house at the rate that you know my husband and i choose to and the rate at which we can afford to and to be honest that's really how most people do it it's only like really wealthy people who are able to like or people i guess who've been saving for like years and years and years and who are like high earning that are able to cough up like 300,000 rand to buy a house and then cough up another 300,000 rand to furnish the house all in a process of like six months unfortunately like we, we, we're not those people <laughs> we can't we can't put together seven and eight hundred thousand rand in like a period of six months we're not we're not those people so yeah we are real people my husband and i work proper jobs and we are ordinary people we do everything that we do from our incomes we do not come from wealthy families we do not inherit anything from anybody in fact we both grew up quite poor so that's that anyways let me finish my makeup for me and one and then siam is okay um he's taking me to a new restaurant that i haven't tried before i finish my makeup why does this <laughs> may believe foundation make me look like an oompa loompa what is this i need i'm just gonna go in with a slightly like darker shade as like a second coat and let's hope that like fixes it because you never feel the way i feel you don't know if my love is real baby listen to me here's the deal when you're not here i'm not the same i'm needing a new chapter babe been stuck here in a bed for days i've been staring at the telephone because when you're gone i miss your face late o'clock five o'clock there's no need to bring it up nothing you say makes it better to spray this on my satin shirt because i think i want satin it's not very forgiving spray it on my hair show me what it's like to be circling among the clouds because without you by my side i would be stuck here on the ground you're lighting up the way I can see the road ahead of me I won't be stumbling in the dark Your eyes are shining like the stars I was down Until you saved me Until you set me free My eyes were closed Now I see clear as day And I just wanted to say That you can take me high I, 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 I feel 
feels like I can fly You can take me high I can see the sun staring at you when you make that smile I'm moving closer to you now I can't get close enough somehow And I was down Until you saved me Until you set me free My eyes were closed Now I see clear as day And I just wanted to say That you can take me high Feels like I can fly I don't need anybody, I don't need anybody else No one will ever take me, no one will ever take me away from you I promise I will hold on to you It's like just before 7 a.m. I need to quickly go and get a workout session in because I promised myself that I'm going to work out five days a week. And you know what? Today is session number five. <laughs> um, so good morning. I'm just gonna do like 30 minutes of cardio. There's this workout that I found from Alexis Sparks. I think y'all's channel, she also once tried it. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do and I literally only have 30 minutes and it's a 30 minute like cardio uphill workout I'm gonna start slowly because I'm not at that fitness level <laughs> I'm gonna start slowly and then my husband and I are gonna go to church so let me quickly get the session in give away and get the time to the house of the Lord Baby, don't check for me. Taking time out to be and live my life off screen. Taking time out to be and live my life. Taking just to be and live my life. Don't take it personal. Let me tell you, I went to the gym, right? Isana, I rushed through my workout and the colors and the colors and I got back home because I was under the impression that we're going to the 8 o'clock service. But I said, almost you will not wake me from my slumber. <laughs> I got back home at like just after, like just before half past seven and I was going to take like a quick shower be red and be showered and dressed in 20 minutes Asana, and i came back and my husband was snoring and in order for us to be able to leave by like quarter to eight to make it to church at eight o'clock my husband has to be dressed you know what i mean he has to by the time i get back at like 20 past seven my husband has to be showered and dressed but i said he was sleeping isola he was watching some game I don't know if it be basketball by soccer i'm assuming it was soccer but he was watching some game yesterday and so hence you know um but it's fine yeah i showered i'm like partly dressed um i just need to change my pants we're gonna go to the 10 a.m service 
um and then we'll come back home i don't know if we're gonna go do brunch it's probably not a good idea for us to go do brunch to be quite honest because we went out for dinner last night but you know what i'm already tired it's only like half past eight and i'm already tired and i still need to edit a video and i need to wash my hair and wash this wig today so we might go out for brunch or we might just have sandwiches for lunch and then i'll like cook a proper dinner we'll see but let me make myself eat another cup of coffee declare pants and edit my video and then i'll wake my husband up at like nine to shower so that we can go to the 10 a.m service and yes you guys like my skin has been cooperating it has been cooperating and it i don't know if you guys remember last year when i had my stint with like hormonal acne because of my contraceptive acne way acne scars way acne scars way <laughs> let me get in my video and so we get kicked out i know i just met you I know I just met you But something tells me that you might be into Talking to a stranger with a tattoo Baby, I'm one of a kind There's a reason we're here There's a vibe in the air That neither you and me could deny Boy, I see how you stare up and down Everywhere I can tell you're far from shy So let's talk till we try You're not gonna go to the office today. Hmm? No. It's not about waiting. Hmm? It's not about waiting. Oh, thank you. Okay. Bye, my sweetie. Mm -hmm. Love you. Okay, let's go to work. Bye, sir. guys so today is monday let me tell you is all when we came back from church i literally just passed out like i passed out i woke up watched some youtube videos my husband made me dinner and then i went back to sleep and i woke up at like 5 a.m this morning woke up at 5 a.m this morning <laughs> but fortunately um oh there's my helper come and born um but fortunately because i woke up early this morning i was able to meal prep for the week well not for the whole week for like half the week so i made dinner for monday tuesday wednesday today's monday it's like eight o'clock on my way to the office but i made dinner so i'm so proud of myself so at least tonight i can just focus on like editing content and stuff and i don't have to first cook dinner you know but yeah, it is the beginning of a brand new week. Um, last week I was only in the office for like two days. This week I have three days at the office and two days like working at home. Yeah, and I just thought let me carry on the vlog into the weekend because, sorry the week because then it was just going to be a one day vlog, you know. And I know some of you guys <laughs> complain that when my vlogs are like less than 30 minutes. And a one day vlog was literally going to be like 15 to 20 minutes. So I'm going, let's carry on the vlog. Maybe an additional two days. So I'll just take you guys to work with me. You know, this is just going to be like a realistic day in the life of like a corporate girl who has a side hustle and has a husband that she takes care of. <laughs> His niece. Um, 
yeah, my son Ben Sensei and Sensei guys. My son Ben Sensei. Typically, before I go to work, like in the morning, I always do like a to-do list while I'm still at home. I look at my calendar so I can see what meetings I have for the day, what deadlines I have for the week. I didn't get a chance to do that because this morning because I was cooking breakfast. And I didn't want to vlog the cooking of the breakfast because I just felt like it was going to slow me down and I literally only had two hours to do it. Yeah, let's go to work, Mandase. I hope you all have a productive day and I hope Usulako will be beautiful. For the tooth that 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 liquid that's um that your mom uses and you see the one that smells really bad oh yeah 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 please tell us I'm, I'm in so much pain and a cotton pad me okay so i came back on this day with probably the worst toothache i can like ever describe there was low shading when i arrived at home so i phoned my husband to come down because i wasn't willing to climb three four flights of stairs <laughs> to get to our apartment to relieve myself of my pain so i phoned my husband to bring me like some clove oil and i use clove oil kind of like as a, as a local anesthetic for toothache pain and guys when i tell you this was the start this day right here where i'm filming this vlog was the start of a four week long journey of the most intense pain i can ever describe and the worst pain i have ever felt in my entire life unfortunately i wasn't really able to continue the vlog beyond this point because i was just in so much pain and i just wanted to get inside my house take my clothes off eat and sleep but fortunately the medication that i took this clove oil really really did help me to just get through the night Hey! <laughs> Babe, I took this so you can direct it on your tooth. <laughs> Need to go see a dentist. It's not the first time. Don't you need like 14 fillings? Something like that? Mm -hmm. This thing is so awful. It does the job. Though. It does the job, but it tastes, it smells awful. There's no lie there. Yo, hi, bud. Don't you please. Do we have my billet? Uh-huh. Hmm? Mm. Mm. Don't worry, the pen's gonna go away. 
Without the pain, I'll definitely go away. Mm.